I mean, at the time, this was a breakthrough. Whoever thought of singing a, 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 a quote from Gemara? It was always Psukim. It was a brilliant idea and a great composition. But what exactly is the story? The Kayin Gadol went to Lefnai Lefnim, and the Ebrishter asked for a bracha. The Ebrishter needs a bracha from a Kayin Gadol? What is, what is the meaning here? So first of all, it shouldn't be so surprising because the whole idea of Rosh Hashanah, what is Rosh Hashanah? Imru lefonai malchies kedei shatam lichuni aleichem. The Ebrishta wants to be our king and he asks us to do something to enable him to be a king. He needs us. To. So you can say, well, yeah, ein melech bulayam. But the, that we can affect the Ebrishta should not come as a surprise. I mean, all of Yiddishkeit is that. Yaakov says, uh, Yitzchak says, Aseli matamim nafshi. Do something to enable me to give you a bracha. And Tanya says that that's the Shechina talking to her children. It's not just Yitzchak talking to Esav. So that shouldn't really come as a surprise. Because Dama Lamaila Mimcha. What happens Lamaila comes from you. But first of all, what, is it, what does it mean Lefnai Vilifnim? So generally speaking, Lifnim means the world of Atsilus. The world of Bia is already creation. That's already outside. Lifnim means Atsilus. Lifnai Lifnim. So we're going to Malchus the Atsilus, or Malchus the way it was before Atsilus. What does it mean to Varacheni? Bracha means to bring down. Draw me down, invite me into your world. Where does that begin? It begins with drawing down Chachma Bina Das into Midas. What is the effect? When you have the influence of Seho on Midas, then anger can turn into, into Chesed. In the Midas themselves, they're not, they're not interchangeable. Chesed is Chesed, Gvur is Gvur. Can't go from one to the other. But when you bring in Seichel, the Seichel brings a bitl to the Chesed and the Gvur, and then they can switch. You can go from one to the other. So the Ebershter is basically saying, turn my anger into Chesed. How? Bring the, the Chabad into the Midas, and then the middays are flexible and 
And that's why the result was Venenali Bereshe. The Ebershtem nodded, meaning he lowered the, the head to the Midas. How is it possible that something we do can affect him? If the whole kavana is dira betachtainim, how can the tacht not affect him? If the whole idea is that he wants to become one with us, so whether we agree or not doesn't make a difference. Makes all the difference in the world. So what does it mean, really, in the story? Yishmoel b'ni. What can you do for me? You can turn my anger into chesed. By being my child. If you're my child, all of a sudden the, the gvura turns into chesed. Yigelu rachamecha al midesecha. And then, the hanahoga, sesnahi gimbanecha, Lifnim Mishur Hadin, which goes back to something we talked about before. Lifnim Mishur Hadin is expressed perfectly, precisely, in the statement of the Alter Rebbe, Ich will nicht dein Ganeid, ich will not dir allein. I don't want heaven, I just want you. That's Lifnim Mishur Hadin. That means I'm going beyond the requirements of creation, I just want you. That is reflected back. I don't know who's reflecting whom, but Eberstedt is saying the same thing. Just be mine. When you're mine, all the anger turns into kindness. Everything is forgivable if you're mine. <clears throat> so the song is really it, it tells it tells the whole story and it does it brilliantly there's the awesome part of it and there's the application the, the joy it's really it's a good it's a good piece of work and the guy can sing <laughs>